celebrated Tad. Now you're all mine. Have you ever looked into the mirror and wondered who was staring back at you? All the time. Your EKG looks relatively normal. Relatively. Well, there's one funky spot. Listen, let's uh, run another and get her started on an IV of saline. In the meantime, why don't you tell me what happened? <sighs> I... I had this nightmare, you know, and I, I woke up, I was in a state, I was just sweating, my heart was racing. Any pain? Yeah, and, and tightness right here. And that's what scared me, because I, I've had panic attacks, but this was... <laughs> the nightmare, what was it about? Here it goes again. Start that IV it's set. Again. All right, Crystal. Look at me. I want you to just look at me and breathe. I mean, seriously, who am I? I'm an attention-seeking slut. Whoa. Don't you think you're being a little harsh? No. I sleep with men, David. All kinds. Jamie, JR, Jonathan, Jake. All right, so you've slept with a lot of guys. Who cares? I do. Well, then I'm sorry, Amanda. If I had known, I never would What? Let me come on to you? As usual, it's all me, always in complete control. Do you hear me complaining? No. Because having the power, calling the shots, that seems to be what you're good at. Then why, when it's all over, do I feel like such crap afterwards? Because I sleep with men for all the wrong reasons. Hmm. Okay, so what was the reason for sleeping with me? It's beyond twisted. You wouldn't understand. Darling, I invented twisted. Last thing I ever wanted to do was interrupt your new life. <laughs> your new old life, I guess. If it wasn't for this cancer. Oh. So now you're going to blame yourself for getting sick. Hell, we could sit here all day and play the blame game. Fact remains, you saved me, Rebecca. You gave me my life back twice. And I gave you nothing. Our daughter? Love? Life? You told you deserve so much more. I, I needed to to be able to give you more. Would you please stop saying that? What we had was real. It was real, Jesse, and I cherished every moment. So I took it all away? No. Until I let you go. No. Look at me. I let you go. And now it's your turn. I slept with you because of JR. The things that he said. I, I told you it was twisted. And I told you I wrote the book. So keep going. Well, it's no secret that I've never been a huge fan of JR's. Join the club. Uh, I mean, even when we were together. It's not like we had some huge romance. We hardly got along half the time. But hmm. when he finally got back together with Babe, I... I started to look at him differently. Why? Because Babe loved him, and I loved her. And so if something that sweet and caring can show to someone like Babe, I mean, it's got to be real, right? Well, I couldn't have been more wrong. Well, you certainly have that right. The guy is a total ass. You helped remind me of that. 
so sleeping with me was thank you sex? Kind of like a reward? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Don't say it. I I'm sick. It's twisted. I know. I, I need help. I'm going to go home and deal with myself. And next time I see you, I promise to have more restraint. I certainly hope not. I don't care what the motives were. You, Amanda Dillon, are amazingly beautiful. And if it were up to me, we would relive this night over and over and over again. I'm sorry, I have to go. Don't ask me to walk away again. I barely got through it the first time. Jesse, I need you to stop feeling guilty and feel proud. You were living the life you were meant to live. But I loved you, Rebecca and Natalia. I still do. Good, because she's going to need you no matter how much she pushes you away. Yeah, well, I'm not running from this. I ain't going nowhere. I you're promise you. You're going to take care of our baby. She's probably going to have to take care of me. <laughs> But yeah, we'll take care of each other. She's going to be just fine. She's just like a mother. She's smart, strong. Yeah. She's going to be trouble, too, because she's stubborn and impulsive, just like you. Impulsive. And <laughs> hey, you remember that? Remember that time I got you and Natalia out of bed at the crack of dawn, threw you in the car? <laughs> she was just a baby. I read some article about Block Island. Had to go. <laughs> so he did. That sunrise. Remember that sunrise? It was gorgeous. Do you remember what you said that morning? I had never been so happy. I find myself thanking God that I was at least able to give you that. What are you doing here? Thank you, David. I know this is your night off. No, you know, I, I, I don't even have to see you. I sense your presence and, and my heart starts racing. <laughs> you seem to have that effect on women. Yeah, causing them to drop dead. Nobody's dying. At least not today. I see no sign of a heart attack in your blood work or your EKGs. Well, then what, what is wrong? Let's find out. I need you to loosen your gown. Do you want me to help you or not? Shh. It's cold. I can't hear your heart if you keep talking. All right? Take a deep breath for me. That's it. So? So you had an anxiety attack. And I know what caused it. 